Hello everyone. So today I am here with a new topic and in my last session I have already explained you between the differences between the asexual and sexual modes of reproduction. So today I am here to explain you about various types of asexual reproduction. Okay? And what we have studied in asexual reproduction, we will just quickly uh, recapitulate it. Asexual reproduction, only one parent is involved in asexual reproduction. Okay, there is no fusion of male and female gametes and the offspring which are produced are identically, uh, genetically identical or morphologically identical to their parents. Okay, now today. We are going to study about asexual reproduction. There are main six types of asexual reproduction which we will be uh, knowing and understanding one by one. Okay, the very first process is fission. F-I-S-S-I-O-N, fission. Fission means breaking down. And yes, it is of two types, the binary fission and the multiple fission. And I have already explained you about the literal meaning. Now, my children, just concentrate on the literal meaning of the word and you will just understand the concept so easily. When we are talking about binary, binary means two. When we are talking about multiple, multiple means many. Okay? So, from the word itself, you can understand binary fission means there must be some processes in which from the parent cell, Two daughter cells will be formed and yes, it is what the binary fission means. I will be explaining you through the diagram. Now coming to multiple fission, multiple fission, what does it mean? The word itself speaks from a parent cell, many cells or we can say many daughter cells are produced. Okay, now look at this picture. Yes, the picture number one about the binary fission. Okay, and 1A is binary fission and 1B is multiple fission. Now first concentrate on this picture, first picture about binary fission in amoeba. Basically or we can say generally binary fission takes place in favorable condition. And what does it mean? It means uh, when the water, the food and the temperature is perfect for the reproduction. Okay, so one parent cell divides into two. Now coming to multiple fission, multiple fission can also be seen in amoeba but yes in unfavorable condition when there will be loss of water or lack of water we can say when there will be lack of water the amoeba will just form a cyst around it. Inside that first nucleus the parent nucleus will divide into many nuclei and then the cytoplasm will go around and then will form the many cells. Now once then what will happen once the favorable condition arises it will burst out and then many cells comes out of one parent. So that is about multiple fission. Other examples also you can see whenever, whenever we are talking about binary fission various examples are there amoeba, paramecium and bacteria. It is a mode of reproduction in these these organisms and uh, we have seen in amoeba and yes whenever we are talking about binary fission the orientation can be in one direction or in two direction it can be longitudinal it can be horizontal it depends upon the organism where it takes place okay and multiple fission the examples can be amoeba it can be plasmodium now coming to budding what is bud bud is actually the outgrowth now when we are talking about budding there is one example we will see one example just see this picture yes the yeast cell okay the yeast cell the parent from parent yeast cell the outgrowth will develop on the parent cell okay then the parent nucle nucleus will divide into nuclei and one nuclei will go to the bud and as the bud will just grow, it will just get detached from the parent body and from that bud, one new organism arises. So budding is the process in which 
the parent cell in the parent cell there will be an outgrowth that is bud will be formed and then the nuclei will divide nucleus will divide into nuclei it will go to the bud and once the bud grows it will detach from the parent body and it will again develop into the new organism okay the examples are yeast and hydra now coming to fragmentation and what is this fragmentation the word itself speaks it is such type of reproduction in which the fragments will be there. Fragments alag alag tukde ho jate hain. Yes. So fragmentation we can see. The one example is spirogyra. Spirogyra word spiro spiral. Dimag mein aapko ye rakhna hai. Spirogyra spiral. So spirogyra you can see this picture. See. See to it spirogyra. The spirally arranged nucleus are there. And if it will break into the fragments, each fragment will develop into the new organism. Okay, now coming to regeneration. And what is this regeneration? Now just listen to me carefully. When we are talking about regeneration, regeneration in an organism, if there is loss of, uh, due to some damage, there is loss of limb or any part of the body, and that can regrow. Okay, you can see the example, the tails of lizard. But in few organisms, a part of body can regenerate into full or body or full organism, right? Like example, planaria, the regenerative power in this organism is very powerful that a part can develop into whole organism and this is the process of the regeneration. Okay, now coming to the fifth one, spore formation. So spore, spore is a spherical structure which will be used for reproduction. Now the examples are mushrooms, molds uh, and ferns, okay, mosses, mosses also, okay. Now in this process there is a structure known as sporangium. You can see this figure, yes, this figure about spore formation. Just see this figure, spore formation. There is a structure called a sporangium. You can look at this picture. And inside this sporangium, there is small, small spores. Now, once the favorable condition arises, this sporangium bursts and the spores are released in the air. And the spores are so lightweighted that from these tiny, tiny spores, the whole organism can be uh, develop okay so this is about spore formation so today what all we have studied we have studied about fission okay the binary and the multiple fission see the picture picture number one okay now coming to budding we have seen in yeast see picture number two yes okay fragmentation I told you each fragment will develop into organism in spirogyra right the fourth one, we have also studied about regeneration, which I forgot to show you the picture, but now I will be just showing you the picture that if there is loss of uh, a part of a limb or we can say a part of any body, we can regenerate it. Okay, for example, we can see the tail of lizard, but in some organisms, what happens, the regenerative power is so strong that from the part it can develop into whole organism like planaria okay and the last one for today's session was i discussed about the spore formation and what was that that in uh, like uh, ferns the mosses the bread molds we have seen right so there the mode of reproduction is spore formation there is a structure called sporangium look at this picture yes Inside that mini tiny tiny spherical body known as spores is there and when it bursts out these tiny spores will just get down and from these tiny spores the whole organism will develop. So this was all about today's session. Just don't forget to like, subscribe and comment on my channel Learning Science with Chitna. And yes, my dear children, in my next session I will be explaining you about vegetative propagation. And it's two methods, the artificial vegetative propagation and also the natural vegetative propagation. Till then, bye-bye, take care, stay safe, stay connected and do not forget to like, share and subscribe my YouTube channel, Learning Science with Chetna.